Okay, you click pack breakdown. Let's go. Let's see. Teal one, duckling, mosquito, bluebird, white tamarind. <laughs> Again. Oh man. Pig, beaver, fish, and ah, like, there you go. There's your standard pack. Yep, should be amazing. Honestly, there's uh, there's not much to say about teal ones anymore. You already know which ones are the strongest. Fish and other. You've got beaver, pig for high uh, high attack in front. Mosquito. There is no two to be unit or i guess any high hp unit maybe you sell a duckling for some hp on these steel ones but there's a blue bird pig beaver high attack but it could be interesting people are gonna use their uh, ants in front but they're also gonna use beavers pigs as well yeah don't do duckling by itself no just just look for these come on Honey, blueberry, no apple, okay, we've got pill for the end, so yeah, end should be a must, uh, mistake. Please strong uh, tier 1, gonna have fun with this mosquito as well. Also, blueberry to counter the early mosquito, if, oh, lizard blueberry to attract mosquito snipes, okay, we're gonna have to use this, sounds cool, sea turtle, lizard, blueberry, yep, that's, uh, that's nice, let's actually get into tier 2 now. Sea turtle, yep, we're gonna use this with the lizard. Maybe sheep later on. Dromedary, sure, not bad. You can uh, you can play some interesting units. Probably a lizard, maybe a badger from a level up. Mm. It's got potential, it's got decent stats as well, especially if you got like an ant in your team, goldfish. Um there's a starfish, no buffalo in TL4. Starfish, goldfish, let's see how many cell abilities we've got to see if it's viable. We've got one, two, three, I guess we've got other as well, which at least you can buy and sell, get the one one, as if it was a cell ability without the starfish, I guess. You know what I mean, yeah, it's it still kind of counts halfway. Okay, three and a half, I guess, in tier one, and in tier two, we've got Hercules, Beetle, and Stout. Stout is pretty nice, gives you uh, gold back as well. Yeah, even uh, XP. So, um, I think the starfish is looking good. There's no uh, no early scaling, like no giraffe, no, not even like apple, not even flamingo pill. Yeah, I think the starfish clownfish uh, has potential to be pretty good, honestly. So far, we'll see what the uh, rest of the pack looks like, I guess. But yeah, goldfish, Hercules beetle. Mm. Its ability is not incredible, but 3 4 slats are definitely pretty good for tier, uh, tier 2. A vat, sure, a vat camel. Oh, geez, sure. yeah, actually, vat lizard could work as well. Make the 1 1 30 vat hit the lizard, and then you get a free lizard tail. Pop by the seed turtle as well. Yeah, interesting for mid game. Well, actually, early games is pretty early. Salamander, no lollipop. Not too many start battle abilities. We've got mosquito. And yeah, just mosquito, it's not that great. Mm, maybe, but nah, not really. Gazelle, now extra gold, dead unit, and stout, which is nice. Honestly, you can probably look to keep a level 2 stout and use it on like deal 4, because it looks like deal 4 is pretty strong, as it usually is. Cherry, mm, there you go. Trumpets for the Pythamari, but it's trash anyway. Pill, always welcomed, of course. Honestly, I was, um, I used to think that pill should be all included, like the chocolate is, but honestly, now that we've got, like, broken pill synergies, especially, uh, banana pill, maybe it's, uh, it's nice to have a break from it sometimes. Yeah. Cupcake. Char just allows you to go greedy and wait for level ups, like, keep the same units on the board, use cupcake to stay alive, and then you get to level up. Okay, tier 3, badger, ooh, there you go, surgeon fish, cherry, might be something, surgeon fish, uh, camel, <laughs> and then camel with garlic, yeah, I guess, I don't think it's that great, no trumpet synergies here, here, or here, so this doesn't really translate into anything, <laughs> yeah, but I guess you can just go osprey, but you need a level 2. And I guess if you want the groundhog, you can get one by peeling this last play in the shopping phase. We've got a tropical fish, which is pretty decent. Not that much scaling. Tropical fish, bluebird. Nice for uh, mid game, I guess. Badger should be interesting. There's a croc, which 
gets to kill the uh, backline badger easily unfortunately no potato for it or any kind of protection actually so badger is a pretty risky play this week especially because most people that can buy a croc will probably buy a croc it's a fun unit and very strong as well yeah starfish already said it's got potential dolphin just by taking a quick glance at um, the tier 4 i already know we're gonna have um, crazy big uh, bisons crazy big mantis with uh, killing turtles and all that so i think this dolphin is gonna be pretty good for big teams that want to stay safe against scorpions scorpions are gonna be pretty powerful here against the 50 50s especially with the one up as well especially with no melon so people are gonna have to go with turtle so they're gonna go with the mantis or they're just gonna build turtle uh, for their bison which is definitely gonna go it's definitely gonna be one of the dominant strats it always is there's amazing tier ones for the bison and there's also minimal scaling around here so bison is definitely gonna be huge there's also caterpillar so yeah there's gonna be a ton of huge units so scorpion is gonna be good which means dolphin is gonna be amazing to have in your big teams yeah i like it it can snipe the caterpillars as well yeah should be a very good unit hey v welcome man have to see you we've got the clownfish as well Shard, it's always amazing while you're leveling up your tier ones until you get yeah well okay it's just amazing for uh, level three by the shards basically sheep sea turtle resistance is futile unfortunately nothing from these early tiers is going to be able to compete with this or with well mantis at least is uh, pretty squishy uh, while it gets uh, started camel shard we've got garlic can use the weather dirty fat no leech in this pack i think leech would have been pretty interesting at least if we would have had more dominant strats at least there would have been super variety but again okay. cucumber i guess you can use actually use this on your uh, unit that you're taking to level 3 and keep it for the bison pineapple for the dolphin very strong actually almost double damage garlic Yep, should be amazing. There's no lemon, or actually, yeah, uh, Godly looks looks like uh, garlic is actually the strongest equipment. Well, actually, no, never mind. We've got the melon as well, but garlic is pretty good as well, especially if you get like a huge early bison. Garlic is gonna help it snowball for sure. Yeah, deal four lobster gonna help you pivot, gonna help you uh, get actually a bigger caterpillar than usual, gonna give you a nice free bison buff onto the bison. Yeah, pretty good unit. Amazing if you get from level up. Caterpillar should be amazing. There's turtle, of course, for it. Yeah, falcon. There is falcon ammo, but... I don't see it being a pink. I, it, I mean, it can work, but if you go up against... Bison, Prey Mantis, maybe even Doberman. I don't think so. I don't think falcon is gonna be it. Minimal scaling. The best scaling is Starfish and it's adding G buffs, it's not gonna hit Falcon reliably. Yeah. But mm, at least it's in the pack, maybe. It's a pretty fun unit. No summon teams for it to go up against. It's always a lot of fun. Turtle. Yep, amazing. Turtle Pill, Turtle Mantis, Turtle Microbe. Yo, hey, stunts. Yeah, exactly. Turtle Microbe. Should be nice, but this probably means everyone that wants uh, to compete at the high like the highest level compete with the best teams is probably going to be forced to keep a turtle just to make sure they don't get uh, destroyed by this micro and especially because probably the best teams are going to have like caterpillar as well keep turtle right with that 50 50 butterfly but yeah amazing unit i honestly still think turtle in tier 4 is a little bit too early for the melon kinda because you can get it on turn 5 used to be tier 3 you get a melon on turn 3 which was jesus man like the food is tier 6 in the shop but you can get it on turn 3 and come on man but yeah you can get it on turn 5 now we'll see maybe they'll actually make uh, some changes to level up uh, rewards if they actually do it's gonna be uh, well first first things first of course it's gonna be interesting to see what they do but yeah a lot of units are really broken if you get the money from a level up and some of them are just useless like i don't know 
Edley Doberman, nothing you can do with it except for scaling it, which is always amazing, but yeah, round 5 Bison, when you level up level 3, broken, round 5 deal, pretty broken, round 3 Sheep, pretty broken, and a lot of stuff, yeah. Mm, yeah, Eel, honestly, decent unit, I think a lot of people uh, underestimated. It got buffed last time with 2 HP, now it's, uh, now it's got 4. I think it's decent, but you really need to invest in it and might as well just go Bison. <laughs> sea Lion, yeah, some actual uh, great wide scaling, I like it. Friends behind plus 1, friends ahead plus 1 HP. Yeah, I think keep this in the back for the Mantis, for the Bison, for the Doberman. Yeah, I like it. Doberman. Do we have cool high deal stuff? Looks like we do. You can, uh, so let's see. Deal for Doberman and then. I don't know, a croc? Actually, croc should not be too great this week, but um, let's say croc. Maybe a scorpion. Lions for sure, sure should be amazing. Moose, probably. Leopard, tiger, leopard. It's gonna be tough to get stats on these guys, though. Maybe with a moose. Yeah, okay. Doberman uh, can work. It's got, uh, it's got good teammates. <laughs> okay, cheese. Shell. I guess there's no stake, but mm, shell. Nice well. Instead of grapes, I guess. It's a, a bit more interesting. Pearl. Shell. Reinforce the big stats. Canned food. Mm, some uh, some preparing, I guess, for the high tier stuff. Why not? Oh, I remember when it was plus two plus two. Good times. And yeah, tier five. Quack. Should be nice, pretty powerful, even just for its 8-4 stats, it's pretty much worth uh, alone, so, you know, the, the snipe should always get a kill, especially if it's not like late, late game, doesn't look like it's got too many valuable targets to snipe, but mm, you never know, maybe it kills like a lionfish in the back, but I don't think anyone's crazy to use in the back, yeah, doesn't like, it. I, it's still like, if it gets one kill, it's still a kill, doesn't have to be a turkey. But yeah, good stats. Scorpion should be pretty valuable this week. Fox. No, it's just underwhelming now. It's a, it, it's usually a bit awkward with the food as well. You sometimes freeze bad food. Sometimes you can't even freeze food. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. It's got terrible starting stats. Yeah, unfortunately, it's cool with like a cat and like level two, level three fox. But yeah, I don't see it being amazing this week, even though the food's okay. Ammo. I really wish, god damn it man, like, ammo has the same problem as the door head end. They're supposed to be enablers for a very specific synergy, right? For just like getting infinite charges for units that have friend head attacks like kangaroo and snake, right? But unfortunately you can just use them with absolutely zero synergies be just because it's in fight buff to the, uh, to the HP is gigantic. Door head end has terribly big HP for tier 2, plus 4 HP on tier 2, man, come on, that is nuts. And ammo, plus 4, plus 8, plus 12, pretty good when most of the fights are stats versus stats, which is probably gonna be the case for 80%, 90% of uh, fights this week, yeah, probably all of them. There's like some snipes, but mm, like Leopard, that's it. Yeah, ammo can, uh, can just make, make the difference. Yeah, sadly, just use it for the buff, not for the uh, synergy, ability based synergies, I guess. Lionfish, yep, kind of everyone picked up on the fact that Lionfish is pretty much busted. It never got changed, but people uh, underestimated it uh, until now. Now you can almost see it in every um, good team. It's pretty good. Gotta count those turtles. Microbe, microbe turtle. Haven't seen uh, this combo in a weekly pack in some time. Should be interesting. It's pretty powerful as well. Mm. Cow, no waffle. I guess by itself with zebra. Moose. Moose is prob. Well, I guess we've got moose and dragon. Kinda, but dragon needs one extra slot. Mm. But yeah, moose should be strong. Its buffs are still amazing. Level 2 is still a beast. Level 1, it's a bit more annoying than useful, but level 2 is already uh, worth not being able to freeze stuff. The buffs are just too high. Yep, pretty good stuff. Chocolate, guaranteed to be in a pack. Always love to use it, see it, etc. Chili, 
Mm. Pop some melons. Yeah, I think this can be like uh, an unexpected thing that can uh, sway uh, the fights. Yeah, should be interesting. Sushi, shut, you don't have anything left to do, you just buy sushi. And let's see, deal 6, Leopard, Wolves, interesting. I don't think it's gonna be, um... Well, yeah, I guess you've got Mantis, Wolves. But then you get like peanuts, you know, 50-50 instead of melon, right? So, oh, it's still decent, but... Yeah, I guess. I don't think so, but mm, I guess Tiger Wolves. <laughs> nah, you really need the turtle this week, man. Yep. <laughs> You've got a Spino. No synergies, no shark. Well, no, 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 no. Spino playing Mantis. Yep, that should be good. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of great stuff for the playing Mantis to kill, but doesn't really matter. It should be pretty strong anyway. It's Bison and Mantis, the self scaling uh, units of the week. They should be amazing. Let's see. I guess you can kill like summon units. So you don't have to spend gold. Next round again, you can kill ants. Definitely a turtle, of course. And yeah, if you get a spinal, doesn't matter because you get buffs anyway. So yeah, play Mantis Spinal. Dragon. Can be amazing, but you only skill 3 units. If those units are like Tiger Leopard. Or like 3 Leopards. <laughs> nah, should be good. Lioness. Yeah, till uh, turn 9 liners, if you've got good HP, you can always get a good 50-50 game, depending, uh, like, no, wait, no, independent of the pack. If you're in a good spot, liners can always work, it's a pretty good unit, especially because we've got uh, some pretty uh, powerful stuff in the pack to just buy. Basically, 50-50 Leopard level 1, you buy it, you're strong, 50-50 Lampage, you buy it, you're at least strong. I guess 50-50 Scorpion, and yeah, 50-50 White Tiger, buy it for the... Uh, Lower attack leopard. But yeah, regular board. I don't see it being deck weight. Regular white tiger with no 50 50 stats, I guess. Um, honestly, I think it can work. Maybe you make a last effort to buy, uh, I don't know, you need a random 50 unit, you buy white tiger for turtle, maybe you buy white tiger for your, um, for your wolves, maybe white tiger for your lionfish, maybe. Yeah, it can work in some uh, not too many scenarios and have a headshot I guess cool more gold not a lot of good food to spend the extra gold on but mm. yeah and for food we've got tomato shouldn't be that great one up level 2 turtle plus one up gives four melons in the back it's pretty strong um, I'm not sure how one up caterpillar uh, works it shouldn't work right with the level 3 it does not activate the start of battle anymore if it uh, respawns mm. but yeah probably best used on the level 2 turtle micro uh, oh man I can't use it in the micro turtle team though sacrifices I guess and orange which is 80 Uninteresting and underwhelming for tier 6, unfortunately. I really wish it would be give 3 random pets plus 3 HP. I know it would be too close to sell, not sell ball, to soup or whatever it's called in tier 5, but uh, buffing only 2 units with plus 4 is not that great. Yeah, that's our pack for the week. Looks nasty, looks like a scaling fiesta. We've got some small abilities, but all of them are just support abilities like Dolphin Lionfish to support the high stats teams. Okay, should be um, interesting for like 1-2 days to play and after that, you've already seen um, all there is to see out of it unfortunately. Okay, we still have to test of course. There's some interesting stuff that we could go for. I don't know, I've got my eye on rat plus lizard, the one one dirty rat, activating the lizard. See turtle with lizard. Mm. Like, the thing is, it's really not worth investing in these early synergies because they just get like outshadowed instantly when a bison or mad play mantis comes online basically, sadly. Or if, or if they uh, don't stomp them instantly, in 2-3 rounds they've got too many stats for these synergies. 